Hey guys, Chef Shea Bear here. Today, we're going to make some beef stroganoff. Kind of like the old fashioned way, but we're going to do some things our way. Stay tuned. Let's make it together, shall we? Okay. What I've got here is I've got a two pound boneless chuck roast. Uh, some people use uh, round steak. I find it's a little more tough. I can't say tough tough, but it's tougher. It's still very good. Uh, a cheaper way to go. Um, you can also use hamburger meat or you can use uh, cubed, you know, already cut up in cubes. Um, we got a pretty good deal on this. so. But what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cut this across the grain. Now if you look, I don't know if you can see this or not. The grain is going that way. Okay? So you're going to want to cut it across this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this, lay it down, I'm going to cut it in thin strips. And I'll show you here what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm just going to take some of this off. Okay, and you're just going to want to cut it in thin strips now. Also, what you can do, which this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut this in half. I don't want big long strips. You can cut it however you want it. It doesn't really matter. I mean, to each his own, right? Because when you're doing it, it's going to be your recipe. You do it how you want to do it. Okay? So just to kind of show you, I'm going to cut this cross grain into thin strips. Okay? See how I've cut it crossways? Man, this knife that I bought is really not worth the crap. So you want to cut across the grain, all right? It makes it more tender, but you can cut it however you want to want to do it. So I'm going to get this all cut up, and then I'll show you what we have next. Okay, what I've done is I've melted two tablespoons of butter in here, and I've put the uh, the meat. And just to sear it until it's brown on all on you know on all the sides. You don't have to worry about it uh, cooking all the way through right now because it, it'll cook in a little bit. But that's what I've done. As you can see, I've I've uh, went ahead and kind of cubed it up because my knives were less than cooperative with me. So I'm just going to sear these until you know they're brown on all the sides. Don't worry about the middle. And then I'll show you what we've got. And then when I get that done, I'm going to put this meat over here on this pan that we cut it up in. Alright, so this is what we've got. It's browned on all sides. If you see a little pink in there, don't worry about that because this is going to cook some more. Now what I've got, I've got going on over there, I'm going to melt two more tablespoons of butter. Now you can drain that off if you want uh, from the meat, but I'm going to leave it in there for more flavor and it's going to turn into like a gravy and plus it'll reduce down. So if you don't want to, if you don't want to drain it, that's fine. If you do, that is fine as well. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, cook our mushrooms and our onions, which I, uh, Remember I cut up some green onions on my last video, that was last night, with the little chopper thing. So I've cut up some onions, and we're going to put our onions and our mushrooms in here, and we're going to cook them until they're just tender, and I'll show you what they're going to look like when they're just about ready. Okay, what we've done is we've cooked our mushrooms. Oh yeah, um, I, I put uh, garlic in here, fresh uh, diced garlic. I used the garlic press. Uh, it calls for like 
too close, but that's that's up to you guys however you want to do it. I put three in mine. Now what we're going to do is we're going to, this is a quarter cup of flour. Okay, we're going to sprinkle this in here. Whoops. And then we're going to stir this for one minute. So we're going to set this kitchen timer for one minute. And we're going to stir this because I'm going to, okay, we're going to talk about this dish. This dish has been around for ages. Um, a lot of people like to cook this. It's so easy. And is that recording, honey? I don't see no numbers. Does it say record up there? Yeah. Okay. You can walk past it. It's, it's all focused here. Well, it kind of shows that doorway there. Yeah. Well, anyway, so I stirred this in for one minute. Now, what we're going to do is... I'm going to put you on pause for a second. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so we've stirred that for one minute. Now, here's where you can use beef broth, which would be three cups. I'm using cream of mushroom, which that's one cup, and the rest of this can, it's a 26 ounce can. I'm just going to go ahead and put this in here. It's about three cups. It may be a little more. Now, you're going to want to whisk this in slowly. And bring it to a simmer but what I was talking about was it's it, this has been around for ages this recipe is actually um, um, Russian it's a Russian dish and but it has been around a while so we got this stirred in like I said you can use your your beef broth or beef stock if you made your homemade like you have some left over from, you know, making something else. You made your 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 stock or your your broth or whatever. I'm just using cream of mushrooms because we're adding mushrooms in here. So I've also, you know, seasoned it with some salt and pepper. And this is not done yet. We've got a little more to do. Now once once this has, you know, once you add that and get it stirred in, get your um your your cream of mushroom or your beef broth once you get that added in there let it simmer until it thickens up now I've let this simmer for a couple minutes but as you can see you know cream of mushroom is already thick so that's thickened up now we're going to add other ingredients now I'm going to put everything you need in the description below and the instructions on how to do this if you've never made it uh, Monkey and I got in discussion yesterday. I asked her if what kind of beef she used, and she said she used hamburger. I said, "Well, I'd like to use some type of steak or a roast." She said, "Well, I've always used hamburger." I said, "You've made this before?" She said, "Yeah, out of the box." I said, "No, I'm talking about making it homemade." And she's like, "Oh, okay." So, right now we're going to add the rest of our ingredients. So first. I've got one teaspoon of paprika here. Let me turn here. I can't see. I've got one teaspoon of paprika. Now you don't have to add this. You can substitute whatever you want. It's it's your creation, you know. So we're going to add that. I have here a half cup of sour cream. We're going to put this in here. Okay, like this, and you can add a little more, you can add less, you can substitute things, you can, you know, uh, like I put salt and pepper in here, you don't have to use salt and pepper if you don't want to. We've got Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire sauce, someone asked me one time, I think it was one of my kids, how do you pronounce that daddy? My answer was, how do I pronounce it, or you in general? So, we all know what it is, so... I don't think there's a right way or a wrong way to say it because everybody knows if you say Worcestershire sauce, they're even going to know what you're talking about if you say that. Now this is like three teaspoons here, so I'm just going to, that's about one, it's about two, 
that's about three so you know that's what we got there so now I'm going to mix this up actually stir it up um, also it's like if you're uh, mixing salt pepper uh, paprika it, let's say you're mixing all that together it's not actually a mixture because they don't really mix do they it's actually if you want to get technical and this is for you know the the real chefs out there that know what they're doing they'll know what I'm talking about it's actually an incorporation so this this technically is not a mixture okay some of it's mixed but as you can see the mushrooms don't actually mix with the gravy it just kind of incorporates it. Okay. Also, Dijon mustard. Yes, you can put Dijon mustard in here. We didn't pick any up because, like I mentioned on another video, we were rushed out of the store, and I'll, I'll get to that sometime. Okay, now once you get that, get that all incorporated, we'll have just a little bit more. I like a little kick, you know. So, all right. Now... You're gonna to want to take your your beef that we we uh, that we seared earlier. This is where it's going to cook. Now you should bring this to a simmer and um, simmer for they're saying 10 to 15 minutes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to simmer it until our noodles are done, which is going to be around 12 minutes. But you can simmer. I've had people tell me they put it in crock pot and just cooked it all day long. I'll bet you that was really, and it makes the meat tender. So we're going to let this simmer while I uh, get the noodles on to boil. Okay, there is our sauce. There is our noodles cooking. They are about done. And this is the leftover fat that I'm boiling up to make nice and tender for Bruno. That's going to be his supper there. So, there's what we ended up with. Now, a lot of people, when they get their noodles done, they'll just put their noodles on a plate and add as much as, as much or as little as this as they want. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to dump all this. Once I drain the noodles, I'm going to dump all this into the noodles, mix it all together, and then we'll show you what we come up with. Okay guys, this is what we ended up with right here. How's that look? Hmm? Nice and creamy, piping hot. We also have some vegetables that we cut up yesterday. There's some tomatoes, some uh, cucumbers, and um, olives. Now this is for monkeys. This is monkey's meal. So she's got like a cucumber salad with Italian dressing. And there's what we came up with. Let's give it a bite and see how it tastes. Okay, we have our taste tester here. And she's going to try. I've never made her beef stroganoff before, so she's going to try it. Like I mentioned before, the last time she made it, she made it out of the box. <laughs> so I'm a box girl. <laughs> yeah, but for her, nothing but the best. I'm making it homemade. Everything's homemade except the noodles. So why don't you give her a shot there, monkey, and see see if you like it. Alright. And then we'll and then we'll let her eat in peace. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good. Very try good. try some of the noodles. Mm. Get just a little bit of them noodles there. Just a noodle? Yeah, because you had just meat. Mm-hmm. So give that a shot, see what you think. So with that, Shea Bear, Chef Shea Bear, <laughs> mm. Chef Shea Bear, I'm gone for now. What you think, Monk? Alright, she gave him the monkey paw up. So, alright guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it, monkey. Bye. <laughs> bye bye, guys. Uh, remember, I'll have the link, or I'll have uh, all the ingredients and everything you need will be in the description below so you can do this yourself at home, so. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. I'm going to eat. Yay. Thank you, babe. You're